this is the look that we're going to be creating today. To create this look, we're going to be using the Naked 3 palette. We are going to start off with this blending brush, which is by Sigma. Taking the color Limit, which is a matte brown color, we are going to start placing this all over our crease, blending it upwards. Take your time blending as this will be our transition color and it will also make blending a lot easier later when we apply the darker color on our crease. Now you are going to need an eyeshadow brush. The one I'm using is by e.l.f. We are going to be taking the eyeshadow black heart which is the darkest on this palette and we are going to be packing it on our outer V using patting motions not swiping. So this is not only going to prevent fallout, but it's also going to give us the most intensity of the color. So we're just going to be packing it on the lid and pushing it on our lid. Then you slowly want to start pushing this color to the center. Um, so we are going to be almost feathering it just to make blending a lot easier. And then we are going to be doing the same thing on the inner part of our eye. So you want to pack and push in the color. Now we are going to be taking the color Factory and we are going to be pushing this color on the center of our lid and we're going to be pushing it in there and blending as well just using padding motions. Then I'm just going to go back and intensify the colors as I want them to be because sometimes when you're blending you lose a little bit of that. Now I'm taking the shade Liar and I'm just going to be placing this on top of the previous color that we put on the center. And then I'm just going to go back and make sure that everything is blended together. Now I'm using my blending brush, which is by Sonia Kashuk. No product, I'm just going in with a clean brush, making sure that there's no harsh edges and everything is seamless. Then we are going to be taking the darkest matte color, which is this brown color right here called Nooner. And I'm taking a pencil brush and placing that right on my crease. Then using that Sonia Kashuk blending brush, I'm just going to be blending this color out and blending it upwards. You really want to take your time blending because we want to have a gradient effect. Now I'm taking the tapered blending brush by Sigma and I'm going to be using the color Limit which is a lighter matte brown color we used this earlier so we're just going to go over what we did earlier and not only intensify but blend everything better making sure that everything is seamless then we're going to take the lightest shade on this palette which is strange it's a matte color we are going to be using this as our highlight so we are going to be placing this in padding motions right on our brow bone and kind of blend it down so everything is blended nicely then using that same Sigma brush, we're just going to go back in with no product and just blend everything together. Now we're taking Nooner, which is the darkest matte brown color in the palette. Again, using the pencil brush, we're just going to blend this under our waterline and just make sure that you blend it out with a clean brush and then clean up whatever fallout you may have. Now we're going to be using the color Dust, which is a beautiful, shimmery, sparkly, beautiful highlight color that we're going to be placing on our inner tear duct. And this is going to brighten up the look a lot more and open up our eyes and make us look more awake, more natural, and just more beautiful. This is the eyeliner that I will be using today and it's by Jordana. I'm going in and I'm just going to create my wing liner 
that's what I prefer if you don't want to wear this you don't have to it's totally up to you and the eyeliner it's really just optional so you could totally skip this part but if you want to wear it just go ahead and um, do your desired wing then you just want to curl your lashes and apply mascara to the top and bottom lashes as well Now using this moldering eye pencil by L'Oreal, I'm just going to tightline on the top part, my waterline. And now I'm using my scandalized cold pencil in Nude by Rimmel and I'm just going to apply this on my waterline. Now you just want to take your favorite falsies, mines are the Red Cherry 747. I'm just going to apply them and then we are done with the eyes. Now moving on to the face, after applying my foundation, I'm going in and I'm going to contour. For that, I'm using that powder right there that I just showed you guys, which is in Cocoa. I'm using my Real Techniques contouring brush to apply this on my cheekbones, up my temples, down my jawline, and under my chin. Now I'm taking my favorite blush which is Luminoso by Milani and I'm going to be applying this with a MAC brush on my cheekbones just blending it in with the powder that we just contoured with. And now to highlight I'm going to be using this e.l.f. product. I'm going to be placing this on the higher points of my cheeks. This gives me a really beautiful glow and I've just been obsessing over it. I'm going to be placing this down the bridge of my nose bringing it up on my chin on my cupid's bow and we're done this is the final look i hope you guys like it don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and leave me your comments down below